Hey, how's it going everybody? Weekend War Attacks. We've got the first installment of Rush Attack. We have won the war. They cannot catch us. And my team has been nice enough to leave me almost all Alfreich teams. <laughs> so I'm, gonna t I'm definitely going to take the two that are not Alfreich. For some reason we have a one yellow tank. Um, and then we'll have to take the rest uh, as Alfreich teams. So that'll be fun. Um... Wow, this is not that difficult of a team. Strange. Like, the double healers work if you have someone like Alfred that can do some serious damage. Not if you have Bira. Uh, there is Lepus, but... Watch me lose, but I don't think that will happen. And I finally have uh, level 23 troops, pairs of level 23 troops in four colors. So that makes it a little bit easier of a job on Grimble because he only needs to kill four minions now to charge Alfred instead of the five that it was before I had the second 23 troop. So green is the last color to come along and... Yeah, that's a cool milestone. Okay, Landbergs. All right. I don't know if I've used this team for rush before, but it seems like it should work pretty darn good because it does have Alfreich on it. I've got my two purple matches. So let's go with those. So I chose to do Grimble second for whatever surviving minions there are, and that was a good idea because now uh, she's ready again. So... Got those yellows down the middle. Let's hold off a second. Alright, I guess we'll go for it now. That'll kill Bira. That'll charge up Heimdall. Sorry about these super annoying barking dogs. All right. Easy. Full coverage. Use that as a chance to clear healing Alrighty. And that's that. All right, that works out pretty well. And then we've got this Neath team. She could actually be really annoying in Rush. So maybe I'll go with purple. Let's see, we have no healers. Neath and then Balder. Hmm. I mean, this is a dangerous team to the point that I'm going to bring two healers. But maybe I should leave that one for last and I should plan around these Alfred teams. 47, 47, 45, 46. Gonna have to choose some of the weaker ones. 
46, so 45. <laughs> Just tossing Kagan in there. All right, so I'm going to have to fight four Alfreg teams. Which means I need to have counters on all four teams. So in terms of counters, I have Garnet, Vanda, Grizzul, and Emilio. So I can put one of those on every team, which is a good idea. Um, outside of that, I then have four Proteus in regards, or just four Proteus. Um, then I have Mickey and Lord Loki and a 370 Lord Loki. So that's kind of the same thing in each color and then how many of these teams have taunt on them mm, not all of them okay this will be interesting I have no idea if this is going to work or not okay so I guess it doesn't matter where I start they're all going to be very similar teams Well, let's try. Hmm. Let's try one of the toughest ones first. Uh, so I'm gonna attack that one. This one. Just looking at the other heroes that they're with. We'll attack this one. And okay, so let's go here first. And I think I'll use my best team here. All right, so then we need Loki. So that's counters in three colors. Was there a Krampus here? There is a Krampus. So I haven't brought yellow or green. I guess we'll bring Revive. Oof, this seems really passive. Maybe anti taunt. So I've got one healer who's not so great for rush. I can copy another healer. All right. Here we go. Okay, we've got purples. Whoopsies. Oh, that was insanely close. Okay, so then what's his name is gonna go off? Heimdall Heimdall. Krampus is going to go off next. So we're going to need to be able to remove that taunt. Ooh, they're screwed. We're in the low battery sweet spot. Yingma is an interesting choice because she could easily build up a lot of stacks very quickly. All right, so we'll get rid of this taunt. And we'll copy some healing. Get Lord Loki back right away. Well, 
Whoa. Oh, he has taunt. Whoops. Forgot that's the way that it works. All right. And there goes the outbreak. Beautiful. All right, so let's go with this. I don't know where we need Proteus yet, but I think I'm gonna copy Yang Mai first. Okay, that was weak. All right. And there you have it. One down, but my best team. I'll be able to do weaker versions of the same team, but that was definitely the best one. Okay, next up. Mm, that one or this one? Go for the crazy cat lady. All right, all right. Do we have any minions here? We do not. So, Emilio. Lady of the Lake. Proteus. Mickey. This is a pretty passive team. So let's get one bigger hitter in here. Um... I want someone I can aim, so not Jabberwock. Unfortunately, not the ninjas. Mm. Maybe we'll go with Fluffy for the big gun. So we've got ailment protection from Emilio. Mickey and Proteus, who we should separate. Got a sniper. One healer, only in one color. We have no dispel though. Do I have, I could do fog instead. And then he can follow up his own hits. But yeah, he's a pretty good standalone. To dispel that taunt. I could also do Falling for True Rainbow. All right, so if I lose with this team, it was bound to happen. I've got counters in four colors, which is as good as you can hope for. I've got a healer. Looks like we're going for, oh shit, Emilio, holy fuck, that was close. 
All right, then we can get Proteus before Black Knight goes off. And then we'll get Lady of the Lake. So, definitely going down this side. Definitely going to burn some extra tiles. And then we're going to aim greens based on our follow-up. So, Alfreik is not long for this world. Oh, we have to dispel, actually, so we'll do that. All right, then we'll... Oh, shit. All right, we'll get Mickey. Yeah, that HP reduction is crazy, too. All right, so let's go for minions again. Mickey. Kill shot. More minions. More Mickey. I think I'm gonna send Mickey next. I've got 18 telescopes and I've kept him at 370 for a long time. All right, that was number two. Number three. Ooh, should we go for the... Got a number of them with a sif on it. Um, this one's pretty dangerous because of Francine. Excuse me. Uh, this, I could go with Proteus and then Bira. And then my usual counters. Um, I can definitely stack yellow on one of them to see if we can get some yellows. Um, where do we want to go next? Hmm, tough choices. Maybe here, so what does the Limit Broken Gill and Bursty look like? Pretty nice, not the best defense, but incredible HP. Um, yellows, but we have Ursina, that's a bad call. So I've got my double Gillen Bursties that I want to use for one team. Alrighty. Let's go here. I'm just going to see how this looks. So Gazelle is the counter. Uh, we have no healer, so then maybe Proteus and a little baby Lord Loki. They don't have a healer to copy, though. <laughs> Not the best spot for this with Sif, so scratch that. Let's do that here. Can't wait to limit break Proteus. All right, so I've got three counters, a very strong yellow stack.
Huh, wait, let me broke her and she doesn't even have full emblems. Interesting. Got a healer I can copy. Let's do it. Let's do it. Can we get yellows? No! Zero yellows. Um... Damn, that blue diamond is so tempting, but I don't think I want to hit Alfred with all those tiles. If I don't need to. That's already going to be a lot. And we got another diamond. Beautiful. Watch it not hit Alfred. Okay. Didn't hit the cleanser, though. Which is pretty risky. Oh, uh, shit. I'm going to do it. I shouldn't do it, but I'm going to do it. Um, I think this might kill. All right. Looking pretty good now. So let's get our Loki back. Copy some healing, I think, is what I need to do. It's really unfortunate that they're going to have dodge now. Don't need them dodging. So I think I still have to try to uh, hit them. So let's try. <laughs> Fuck. All right, what do we need? We need that bullshit to wear off. Three turns. Haven't made one move yet. Um, it's not gonna use it now. All right, we need to heal again. No cascades, no cascades. Oh, fucking Gazelle and Leidenbrock is an unworkable match. I get to heal for like 200. Ugh, that was stupid. That was stupid. All right, well, we're going to use Proteus in just a second, so... All right. Just removed a tiny bit of their temporary HP. All right, uh, she's gonna cleanse. Can we get some more purples? No. What can I get? We got purples. Um, this will charge my yellows up so we can smack them over here again. Damn, those yellows were hitting hard. All right, hit them hard again. Okay, another one down. That's a lot of my best options, though, so this is going to be a little bit sketchier. Um, because I just used my other Lord Loki, which was... But I didn't use... It doesn't help me, actually. Okay. Let's go here. 
Already used taunt. What are we up against? Morel, Sif. So this is a good one for double gill and bursties, I think. Um, so what are our counters going to be? Definitely that. If I throw these two on. Oh, where are they? Past them. All right, so we've got one counter. Francine's not the one I want to bring. So we'll bring... I've used both my Lokis. So I've got two counters now. already I think I'll have to throw in like Hansel or something that'll be my counter for Alfrag just a little spot treatment here look at those 23s let me broke Morel with no emblems weird All right, so this is pretty good because Kill and Bursties are going to do a lot of damage even with Sif's Reflect in place. I've got multiple forms of Mana Control and then I've got another form of Ailment Protection for the defense down and for Alfreich. So, let's give it a go. Only three forms of, of protection on this team. Looks like it's going to be red, which is not the one you want to lean on. Well, it's something. All right, then we need to make something happen quick. So that'll give me green diamond the following turn, but right into Alfrike, which is not good. Oh, I see a better move, actually. Match the greens into the purples. So we'll do this. Get rid of a bunch of tiles up the middle. And now we have hell. But we have very low HP, so we have to be really careful. Okay. Now we've got Gillen Bursties. And Hansel, so we're going to stop, should I stop Liana, or should I save it? Hmm. They all have boosted HP, so it seems better to save it. Liana's not going to end the fight, but some of these other heroes could. All right, put her down, take the green diamond into the purple match. Let's stop Morel. All right, greens are happening. Okay, we'll just work on him. Let the yellows do their job. Okay, this is good. This is good. I'm not going to let her go again, though.
All right, and then okay, one more, and then we get to open the board chest, and we, god damn, we destroyed them. They have six flags left, but it seems like they are like, what's the point? All right, so let's look at our final attack team here. So none of these heroes are going to be good. So I think this is a good time for uh, leaning on Resurrection a little bit, maybe. Let's load up our counters first. So I had, so it's Vanda. Vanda's my red counter. What else do I have? I've used, just used Hell. So that means we have Proteus. Okay. Do I have any other counters? Just looking through the options that I never use. So Mist is an interesting choice. Little John would actually be a better form of the same mana control, but not one that I want to use. Um, so we could bring Mother North like and Heimdall, and then those would kind of be... No, so we've got two counters. I want a third counter. Need a hero that does purple reflect. Um, fun pro tip. Eichelborg deals 340 to the target. The enemy with the highest base defense gets minus 44% defense. If you use him in a raid, He'll give minus 44% defense to one hero. If you use him in an event, like in the Tavern of Legends, or in the Ninja Tower, or in any of the other events, all of the bosses have identical defense, base defense. So he gives minus 44% defense to all of them. Um, so kind of the same as Wilbur, but without the shared damage. He's a little bit faster and has a little bit more tile damage. Uh, thinking about it, Wilbur is still probably better because of the shared damage, but just a little interesting thing. Same with Bobo. Um, yep. Okay, so I could bring, like, Tatuk. <laughs> this is a really, really fragile team now, but that gives me three counters, which is a good spot to be. Could then throw in Heimdall. For healing and resurrection chance. And I guess Albi is better if I'm going to be. He can't overheal and he's a little fragile, but if I got greens, he's going to be safe. Okay, so I've got one healer. Who's my last hero going to be? Okay, so that team... Oh, I've got the Neath team. Could go against Neath. Um... Hmm, this team is extremely passive, just banking on Alfreg. But with all the overhealing, if I can't get in control of it, my team could easily be too weak to chip away at it. I miss Proteus one time, and then boom, I'm dead. You know what? I fought four Alfrag teams. I'm going to take the Neath team. I've earned that. Right, crazy cat lady. 
Alfred. Eurus, Ursus, Alfred. Johanna, Alfred. And the one, the only, was a super Alfred. 4,800 Alfred. All right, I've earned myself a little Neath break. Still a dangerous team, so I can't just screw around here. Um, he says as he considers taking Freya and Bira. <laughs> Alright, so definitely going to bring Proteus. Too good for rush attack not to bring. I think I'm going to bring Heimdall and Albi. And then if I go with purple, so I'm set for healers. The ninjas are unfortunately not good. purple stack, but who to bring? I mean, I guess Onyx is not horrible. So I could bring like Onyx and Jabberwock. Um... Um, <laughs> watch me lose to the non outbreak team. Oh, God. Because, uh, yeah, Neath screws up your break points, but she should go down pretty easily. 850 is not weak, but it's not strong. Whatever. Whatever. Two more tiles is going to be enough. I can't hit her with greens without setting her off. Uh, oh, I could hit her with these greens. All right, there go all my mono break points. Now she'll die, though. Oh, no, she won't because we fucking missed. Oh my god. It's happening. Proteus is almost dead. Fuck. Oh no. No. Ooh, stop, 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 stop. Alright, Quintus is going off. That's happening. Uh, how long am I blinded for? Three more turns, huh? Well, shit. Um, one, two, three. Well, shit. Just waste all my specials here. Oh boy. Oh boy. Well, might as well take those matches. Oh my god, it's happening. Mm. 
Let's charge Quintus up again. Oh my fucking god. No way. No way. No way. Alright. All right, fucking Quintus is going off. I think I gotta do this. Burn a bunch of bullshit here. Oof. I cannot believe this. I don't even know what to do. I think I've gotta go for these diamonds, but that is... Very dangerous. Yellow will set off blue. Blue will not set off yellow, and I think that's what I want. I need some tiles. I really need Proteus, but I don't have Proteus. Maybe I can get him. Maybe I can fucking put Leon out of her misery now, though. All right, don't want to touch the left side. I know it's dumb to use Heimdall and um, Albie together, but we're getting real dumb up in here today. <laughs> no, I think I'm okay now. Oof, shit. It'd be nice to heal again, but I'll settle for specials. Nope, apparently I will not settle for specials. Okay. Oh my god, that was so close. Oh, all right. We did it. I don't think I got the top, but nope. Close. Congratulations, Ray. This is Ray's first six for six. And not only his first six for six, but he did not get passed. So congratulations, Ray, and god damn, everyone on some really strong scores. Look at this. And the, the one and only for their team, the only one, I don't know why I was reading that backwards, the only one to score in the top 10 <laughs> is the only one. All right, defense. Oh, sweet spot for the battery. Defense, oops. Was pretty solid, started off good, looked like I got one shot at twice maybe, but the first one was like four, one, two, three, four, which is pretty good, I'll show you my defense in a second, one, two, I'll take it, a zero, amazing, so not exactly a one shot, because it took two flags, so there's two again. And that's a one shot, a true one shot. And that's it. Defense that I went with. Same thing I used last time, I think. I mean, if you're going for a Hail Mary, yeah, you'll bring reds and maybe it works, but there's a lot of revive here still, uh, even so. Um, so, yeah, lots of stalling, basically, and, and Alfred does all the work. Lady of the Lake can really screw you up. If they take out Alfred first, though, they weaken Lady of the Lake. Uh, Taunt can get the revivers going, but I don't have Mother North in here, so I'm not getting that super high revive chance. Um, but yeah, that's it. Uh, I'll add a video on here in a few minutes uh, with the war chest, so you can see what that is as well. But I think, I think this is four wins in a row. Maybe. And I think five out of the last six wins, or five out of the last seven, something like that. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to hit that like button, um, for Alfred teams this time, smash that like button. Um, be sure to subscribe as well. All right, quick bonus bit for the end of the video that I mentioned before. I've got a monster chest, a raid chest, uh, the war chest, and hopefully I mentioned this before, uh, alchemy lab and the war chest. I think I said war chest twice. So let's open all of these up. 
and hopefully get something good from one of them. Well, loot tickets is decent for a monster chest. We have a rare titan right now too, but I didn't want to wait that long. Mmm, pretty crappy. Alright, let's go here. Hidden Blade. Here, Tome of Tactics. Nice. Actually need tomes. I have a pretty equal ratio of tomes to Damascus Blades, but um, fewer tomes by like two or three, so I like keeping those numbers totally equal. Um, beautiful. And... The war chest, 25 out of 25. Oh. Hundred barbarian emblems. Uh, not so good, at least we got one tome, but from all of those sources, I would have hoped for something better. Um, so yeah, I think I'm gonna send Mickey next and i've got plenty of emblems for him and very little competition so um yeah just want to throw that in there uh thanks for watching i'll see you guys in the next video